Terry Nagel, and this is going to take three minutes and 30 seconds. Judy, you have the longest uh, term supervisor currently serving. You have seen, I believe, all of my appearances over the years. You know that I've asked for help when Mr. Santiago refused me power for my commercial property where I was in my sixth year of concerts. Do you remember me giving you a skit of Jim's mocking performance? The takedown of my festival by a department head who ran away from his post in another part of the Emerald Triangle for getting caught using county equipment and county time to forward on to other agencies racist jokes about Mexicans. You can Google it. Do you remember how hurt I was that my son and granddaughter who are in the same grade on the same page of the yearbook would not be graduating together and to make it worse they graduated the same night three hours apart. Anytime I've come across you or you've come to my place of business or in a parking lot on the street, you know, you never mention or acknowledge the fact of how many times I've been before you. Okay, Keith, my time is short. Because you appointed the doctor to take care of me in this matter, I wait to hear your assessment of the task handed to your new CAO and decide if you feel this one test case is acceptable for now and for the future to the county's citizens for how taking care of a citizen's concern is followed through. I just want to know, does Mr. Coons have your rubber stamp of support on his decision on how to take care of me? Or can we take this case study and clearly decide what are the boundaries that we are going to allow our citizens to be exposed to? Dr. Kuhn's actions is to strip me of my valid license and start completely over as if it's 2005 and I'm putting my trailer together and I've been permitted since 2005. I reject his um, order. You know, it's ridiculous by many measures. Right here is my license, valid license that I have from the county to operate. And, um, I'm going to return to the next supervisor's meeting to see what you have learned about my case. And if you agree with Dr. Coons, I'll give you my, if you ask me, I'll give you my license, my valid license. And that in itself will set the standards by which business owners and citizens can expect to be treated in this county. I actually support Dr. Coons because in my conversations with him, he's repetitively has said that he believes these kind of positions that Mr. Tippett and other department heads have is a, a public service, a public relations kind of position. If he keeps his mind focused on that, when he's making decisions, I believe this county will be uh, much better off. I'll see you uh, at the next supervisor's meeting. Thank you. And I, I do plan on using my license until that meeting. Thank you.